Hey guys, TC again. Um, you know, <sighs> wow. Just wow. Um, I honestly thought I would be taking this time to rest because obviously I couldn't go into work today. I wasn't feeling too good. But, um, there's just... <sighs> I figured, you know, I'm just gonna... <sighs> Get right into the next topic, because it's very important to me, and I've took so much time to reflect off of, well, my thoughts and feelings about the whole thing. So, the topic that I'll be covering today is friendship. Friendship has always been one of the most important and most valuable things in my life that I've always cherished because it's always good to have a few friends at least. Someone who will listen and understand you and will be there for you no matter what. And sometimes those friends remind us to stay true to ourselves and and just to remember that well, we should always pursue our dreams because dreams are promises that we make to ourselves and we have to follow our heart and and I know friends make sacrifices for each other and sometimes they tell us, you know, it's better to let a f some things go no matter how hard it is and... I I've I've been such an emotional wreck lately. And I've always wanted what I always thought was best for me, but as well as for others. And I know especially if you're young and well like I was young and I was usually so oblivious to a lot of things that went on even in my own home. And I grew up, well, having to fend for myself most of the time because there was, I didn't always have someone there to be there for me when I needed them. And as hard as it was, and I struggled a lot growing up, and I didn't really have a whole lot of friends hardly to, you know, to to lean on or have a shoulder to cry on when I needed it the most. But I, I, I've learned that as you get older, you start to realize things more and you start to become more experienced with life, socially, mentally, emotionally. Well, so, well socially especially because... I was not always inclined to really being so open with people and it's best that you always got to try to keep your friends close to you as much as possible and I'm sure most of you out there probably didn't have very many friends and as I've said before I I didn't really grow up having much friends. And I understand, well, that maybe some of you are afraid of becoming so attached to somebody. And believe me, I've easily gotten attached to others. And I've been let down before, many times. And it's hard. It really is hard having to cope with certain losses, things that meant a great deal to you that you once had that you that you once held close to you, that you held in a very special place in your heart. I go through very bad depression, like many people do, like everybody goes through a depressive state, a very reflective state of mind. 
when they feel lost or confused or they don't know where to turn to. But I want you to know that I, I'll be your friend. And even if you don't know me, I guess you obviously don't because obviously you might be new to this channel or whatever. But you, you don't know me and I don't know you. But I'd like to get to know you and I'd love to help you any way possible. Alright? Friendships are, are, are the most important thing in your life. Other than family. Friends can be your family. Okay? And for the most part, they are. If you don't have parents, or if you have a single parent, or if your parents are divorced, or whatever the case may be, and I know it may be hard for you to talk about, but I want you to know that my parents got divorced when I was young. They separated when I was in elementary school, okay? My dad wasn't always easy to get along with. He and I never really saw eye to eye. And maybe most of you out there are friends with your with your dads or with your moms. Honestly, I wish I had a close relationship with my dad. And I honestly, there's a lot of things that I regret that I wish I would have done differently. Like... I honestly wish that maybe, just maybe, I'm just saying, okay, that <clears throat> when I was younger, I really wish that I, I could have tried a little harder to break out of my shell. Because obviously I was trapped in my own personal bubble most of the time that I didn't want anyone to pop because I was too afraid of getting close to someone, okay? What's important lesson to learn about friendships is that you just gotta respect each other. You just gotta listen. You gotta be neutral as much as possible, okay? Not everything can turn into an argument. Because if everything turned into an argument, it, would, it wouldn't solve anything, okay? It wouldn't solve anything. Alright? Now this may be a long-ass video. Pardon my French. I'm just saying... That it's important that everyone just tries to get along, okay? My channel is supposed to help promote positivity, okay? It's not always going to be about, well, <clears throat> other, other things. They're probably, you know, maybe not as important to you, but I know this should be important to you. Friendships should matter a lot. Because when if you really care about somebody, you just don't give up on them, okay? And maybe sometimes you have to kind of, you know, let go sometimes. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's best to fight for what you think and what you believe and to be there for somebody when they need you. And I know maybe some friends out there shouldn't be so reliant on you for support. And because... Look, being a true friend is this and this alone. Here's my definition of what a true friend is. Is that they may be brutally honest with you because they care. Not because they want to be mean. That's not their intention. A true friend is somebody who tries to be a bit more tolerant of, you know, and looks past your flaws and... Sees that maybe you aren't such a bad person inside. Because sometimes being a true friend means you just got to look past all those flaws. And mm. you kind of have to... Well... Have a bit more of an optimistic and more open-minded point of view of somebody. A true friend is somebody who... May 
be there to support you, but maybe not all the time. Because friends don't Friends aren't really friends to each other if they agree on everything. Friends don't always agree on everything, okay? Sure, there's going to be a few spats here and there, and you're going to be like, Oh, wow. I'm just so appalled by what she said to me or what he said to me. Like, why, why would they say something like that? Look. If you've been friends with somebody for so long... Because I've been friends with somebody for, for, with this girl for about, about seven or eight years now. Almost nine. And she and I, she and I did not always agree on everything. But we agreed on stuff that I, we, we both thought mattered. And sometimes we agreed to disagree. But that doesn't mean that we didn't like each other at all. We do like each other. And being a friend sometimes means you have to disagree. And you can't always support the other person. But you do what you what you can to be there for them. And you try to offer good advice or helpful tips. So maybe they don't screw up any more than they already have. And sometimes it takes a good friend to point out your mistakes. Lord knows I've made many of them. But I want you all to remember that it's okay to screw up. And it's okay if you're probably oblivious to a few things that happen. Sometimes we don't always realize what 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 we may see on the surface. Okay? Maybe maybe we don't see what's on the surface because we're we're often blindsided by by things that we don't quite understand or maybe we see them differently. But friendships are the rarest treasure out there. You just got to know where to look for a good friend, okay? And and try to keep the ones that you have close to you as much as possible, okay? You don't want to lose them, so don't do anything to mess that up, okay? All right. So, I'm just going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching, and just know that if there's anybody who has a problem and they need some advice, you're more than welcome to leave a question or some, or, or you know, say something down in the comment, the comment section, and I'll be glad to help you any way I can if you're comfortable with that. I'm always happy to lend some advice, okay? Thanks again so much for watching. Bye-bye.